So in this video, I'm going to go through some examples of solving equations that involve thirds. And I'm going to purposely not use a calculator here. And uh, it'd be a good idea if you try them uh, without a calculator, just to see that you can use and manipulate thirds without one. So let's take a look at the first one. We have root 2 times x take away 3 is equal to 4 lots of x plus root 2. So I'm going to expand the brackets out first. We'll have root 2 times x take away 3 root 2 on the left-hand side, and 4x plus 4 root 2 on the right-hand side. So um, I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides to get all the x's on the left-hand side, Add 3 root 2 to both sides, and I'll have 7 root 2 on the right-hand side. Now, on the left-hand side, I need to factor out the x. So I'll have root 2 take away 4 times x is equal to 7 root 2. And so x is 7 root 2 divided by root 2 take away 4. So dividing both sides by the bracket. Now I'm going to rationalise the denominator for this multiplying top and bottom by root 2 plus 4. So we'll have 7 root 2 times by root 2, which is 7 times 2, so 14. And then we've got 7 root 2 times by 4, which is 28 root 2. In the denominator, we're going to have root 2 times root 2, so 2. And then we're going to have, um, well, root 2 times 4 and minus 4 times root 2, they're gone. Minus 4 times 4 is minus 16. So we can write that as 14 plus 28 root 2 over minus 14. Now we can divide through by the minus 14 as well. So 14 divided by minus 14 is minus 1. And 28 divided by minus 14 is minus 2. So minus 2, root 2. And so that should be my answer for the first one. OK. Number 2. x take away root 48 is equal to 2 root 3 take away 2x. So... First of all, I'm going to add 2x to both sides, so we'll have 3x, and I'll add root 48 to both sides as well, so 2 root 3 plus root 48. Okay. Now, from there, you know, it's, it's quite a simple one, but uh, I want to simplify the thirds, I want to simplify it as far as I can, so I'll leave the left-hand side as 3x. On the right-hand side, I've got 2 root 3. Now 48 uh, is 3 lots of 16, so that's got to be 4 root 3. So 3x is 6 root 3, so x would have to be 2 root 3. And that's the answer we're looking for. Okay. Number 3. We have x root 18 take away 4 is equal to root 8. So this is all about simplifying with thirds here. So I'm going to write the 18, root 18 rather, uh, because 18 is 2 times 9, as 3 root 2. So this is x times by 3 root 2. I'm going to add the 4 to both sides, and we're going to have root 8. Um, which I'm going to write as 2 root 2, because 8 is 4 times 2. And we've got the plus 4, so I'll have that. Divide through by the 3 root 2, so x is 2 root 2 plus 4 over 3 root 2. And then I want to rationalise the denominator. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 2. So 2 root 2 times by root 2 is 2 times 2, so 4. We're going to get 4 root 2 as well. And in the denominator, we're going to get 3 root 2 times root 2, so 3 times 2 is 6. Now, that fraction can simplify dividing top and bottom by 2, so we'll have 2 plus 2 root 2 over 3. And that's my answer for number 3. OK. 
Okay. Last one. We have x root 5 plus 2 equals root 20 x take away 1. So let's expand that bracket out. We'll have x root 5 plus 2 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'm also going to write root 20 because 20 is uh, 4 times 5. So I can write root 20 as 2 root 5. So 2 root 5x take away 2 root 5. So then I want to get all the x's on one side and everything else on the other. Now, to avoid minuses, I'm going to add... 2 root 5 to both sides, and I'm going to subtract x root 5 from both sides. So I've got 2 root 5x, and I'm just going to rearrange this so it makes sense, because we've got the root 5 times x, because here I've got the root 5 to the right of the x, and here I've got the 2 root 5 to the left of the x, and that can cause some issues if you're not careful. It doesn't matter which side uh, we put it, either of those are perfectly fine. Uh, which is strange because obviously we don't write x2 to being 2x. But with roots, um, quite often we write it that way round to avoid uh, the problem of thinking the x is under the square root sign. Um, which, if you cap it off like I do, then it clearly isn't. So, we've got 2 root 5x, take away root 5x. So it's just root 5x on the right hand side and then I can divide through by root 5 so x is 2 root 5 plus 2 over root 5 and then rationalizing the denominator multiplying top and bottom by root 5 we'll get 2 root 5 times root 5 which is 2 times 5 so 10 plus 2 root 5 over 5 and that's really as far as I can go with that one I mean, you could write that as 2 plus 2 fifths root 5 if you like, but you wouldn't need to. That's as simplified form as you can get it.